Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I want to show you how you can easily backtest your strategy manually by using our new indicator. As you can see, I opened uh, Ninja Trader here and um, put a few indicators on it. So let's look at those first. Uh, you see, I have the, uh, the toolbar, which is on top. Um, next is our uh, uh, backtest indicator. Uh, which we're going to look at in a few minute moments and I added a simple trailing stop uh, it's an ATR based trailing stop and we use it to drill our stop loss um, so let's take a look uh, when, we, when we want to backtest we need a strategy of course and the strategy I want to backtest myself is now is a very simple one it's a Fibonacci based ret uh, retracement and the idea behind this you simply take a Fibonacci retracement from the low to the high and when price we pulls back to the 50% you open a long uh, and then trill the ATR uh, based stop. Your stop loss goes below the 65% uh, and uh, for the short trades we do the same except we draw it from the top to the low like here and when price hits the 50% retracement again we open a trade stop loss above the 65 and we drill our blue line until price hits it so that's a, that's a strategy very simple one and let's see how it uh, how it performs uh, we saw already our first trade um, by simply dragging the Fibonacci retracement until we hit the 50% which is right here so here we want to open a trade and we put our stop loss right here so um, for placing the trade I'm going to use our position sizing tool um, it's a very nice tool which allows you to uh, uh, draw your trades on the chart and immediately see uh, the, uh, the results so that would mean you enter around here and um, your exit would be around uh, here okay uh, let's move that Fibonacci retracement to make it a little bit clearer and um, yeah, at the yellow line we want to exit. So if you look at it, you can see uh, clearly our stop in red, our profit in green, uh, the risk to reward, which is almost uh, 3.1. And um, the moment we open the trade, we get our trade panel with all the statistics uh, about the trade. So we made $1,500 on this trade. Uh, so this was a quite a nice one. So let's go look for the next trade. Uh, we, we use this pivot um, and this high. Uh, so we take the next pivot, which is right here. And then we look for the 50% retracements. And as you can see, it doesn't find one. Uh, so we scroll further. And now we see the, uh, the yellow uh, line uh, disappearing and the blue one uh, appearing so it seems the trend is changing um, so instead of looking for longs we're now going to look for shorts again we pull a fibonacci now from the top to the bottom and we're going to see does it hit the 50 percent somewhere which it does right here so that would be the place where we uh, open our trade The stop again goes above the 65. We enter at the 50 and we twill it all the way to here to the end of the blue line, which is right here. And that would be right there. Again, nice winning trade $600. And as you can see, now two trades with a net profit of. 2100 okay 
and from there we look for the next trade and um, now you can see that we are uh, losing our blue line and getting our yellow line so that means the trend is up <coughs> at least the short time term trend and the, the bigger trend still seems to be down unless this uh, this high is uh, taken out but let's just take it right um, so we have a small one here as you can see it's uh, the low high pulls back to the 50 but um, it breaks our 65 so that would be a small losing trade i guess because we uh, put our stop like here and that would be our target and entry oh. so that would be a small loser okay so now we have three trades with uh, two, two winners one loser and as you can see the profit factor of which are expected value etc is all, all calculated automatically and we can go up further uh, but this is something you have to uh, be aware of now uh, because you might think okay um, the next one is here which it is hmm? the, the 50 percent uh, the things are not always that easy if you look at the bigger trend you can see that again this uh, the swing high is not taken out which means this is a pullback and the bigger trend is like this and you should always look at the uh, trading with the, with the bigger trend and when you see that you can see clearly see okay it uh, hit a 50% short here and if you open that trade and like here and drill your stop all the way to the blue line then that would be the trade And from there on, you don't um, get a new low because the next thing you would expect is if there is a new low is um, to get another short, which you can see we're, we're failing to make a new low. And so that could be that we're going sideways or up. In this case, we're clearly going up, but we are never uh, reaching a 50% short. So we scroll further and now we see uh, the blue line again appearing. So we're going to take from the top to the bottom, which is right there. And the moment it hits the 50, we open a trade again. It's beginning to get boring, um, but that's how trading is. And from there on, we drill our trade, our stop loss, all the way to the blue line, which is all the way down to here. And suddenly things are not boring anymore because this is a monster trade. All the way down to here. And I guess you have a good day if you catch one of those. Um, that's almost uh, $2,400 on one contract. Uh, with a uh, risk reward of uh, 7 to 1 really nice <laughs> and from there on uh, let's see let's take another one uh, we can see now it's going up but do we get a 50 somewhere not really and now it's going down again so always take it from the high and do we get a 50 somewhere yeah we do barely but we do 
and this is an this is a funny one um, because um, you would show you you would think this would be a profitable trade, but um, yeah, sadly uh, I guess this would be a break-even one because you can clearly see that the the blue line is not going deeper, and if you trail it, it will just be uh, I think a uh, Break even trade, so that would be right there, okay. But uh, we can see the trend is, uh, is going down. Um, it's making a lower high here again, high to low. 50% retracement, so you would have taken this short right here to deal the blue line until here and from there on you would have made a nice profit of 1000 and um, let's see, we have now have seven trades, so let's do a couple of more. Okay, so as you exited here, you can see that we get a pretty big retracement back. Um, so if you take the low, and notice you exited here, so before that you wouldn't open the trade. Um, yeah, you exited here, so you would open a new trade here. You can see it's going up. Um, so let's open that one. Oh, from like here to here, and you then trail the um, yellow one. And that's another monster trade. Let's remove this one for a sec. So, and then we're going to put that one right there. Okay. And from here we don't get, I guess, anything. Yeah, we get a very small one, but. You should you should really use the other pivot, not this small one. Then we're going down. Does it make a fifty? It makes a fifty right here. So that would be probably a trade you would have taken. A short trade here. Um, but again, I guess that's a break even because the moment you open it, uh, it's immediately uh, it's immediately going sideways and then the blue line disappears. So I guess that would be a break even trade, right? Where you open right here and. Um, Maybe you close it right here because you don't get a blue line anymore. So something like that. And now you're thinking, okay, the trend is uh, not down but up. So let's see what do we get? What do we get? We don't get anything because here we get the blue line again. Um, if it's blue, we are going to look for short. So from the high to the, I guess this is a low, which is right here, which you would have entered. And um, here is your stop. Stop here you entered. And yeah, clearly this was a. Uh, Th 
this was a losing trade um, because it got back to the uh, to the uh, 60% okay so now we made 10 trades as you can see um, now 10 trades is of course not enough to give us a real good answer if this strategy is profitable but you can see how uh, at least how the indicator is working um, and if you look at the statistics let's move the graph out a little way you can see we made 10 trades in five days uh, our net profit is uh, 8100 dollars our win ratio is 80 percent we have an enormous profit factor uh, and fhr our expected value is 800 dollars per trade and uh, eight winners two losers uh, a max drawdown of uh, 0.18% so yeah these numbers are very very good but notice they are based on just 10 trades which is not enough you should mark at least 100 I guess to have some uh, some confidence in it um, but yeah it shows you uh, at least how you can easily backtest your uh, your trades uh, how you can use our position sizing tool to draw your trades um, and um, like this and when you when you're done by the way you can also upload all your trades to our uh, trading journal and when you do that um, the trades will be appear in the trading journal and from there you can even analyze them uh, further if you want so um, I guess this it um, if you have any questions then uh, please give us a uh, shout you can find us on the, on the uh, YouTube or on the website itself um, the trading journal give us a uh, an email or uh, if you have any questions and we'll be uh, very happy to uh, to answer them okay this is it for now uh, speak to you later bye bye